want to talk to you about being careful of the Chinese that are coming into our country. And the Chinese that I'm talking about are not like the, you know, like Horace Chang and, you know, the Mu Pens in Mandeville and the Chins, like Tess and Chin and those people. I'm not talking about those people. Those are good Chinese who have been here for hundreds of years. I am talking about these Chinese that are coming in recently and building all these beautiful structures and, you know, setting up a home here. You know, we have to be careful of all this Chinese investment, especially this is to the government because we don't know what their true intentions are. And I'm sure they didn't reveal, oh, oh, we love Jamaica and we want to make Jamaica so beautiful and such a better place. The truth is the Chinese are looking for new homes or new places to, you know, colonize. Another truth is that China is severely overpopulated and, you know, smog in their land all over. You can't breathe properly and the resources are dwindling and they have the money. They have lots and lots of money to lend. So they give their people money to go and, you know, colonize other countries and, you know, they have to send back money to China. So that's why our country isn't growing as it should because we have lots of businesses happening here and the money doesn't stay here and another thing is that they don't invest in Jamaica and they are not they're not really nice people you know they are rude for one especially when dealing with them in terms of business if you ever go into a Chinese store and you owe them a dollar they will wrestle you for it and I've heard how they deal with their customers and their their employees they are not very kind and in fact china is making ser serious laws to kill out christians and jamaica is still a christian country and you know i don't think the two will match up so well and another thing is that one day you might see all our little ghetto girls and all our little young ladies walking around with little chinese babies because you don't know what they're putting in these foods that they're importing and even some of the clothes that they're sending out and they don't really sell quality clothing everything that they make is only for like a one wear or a one use in fact if you should ever look around your home one day you'll see everything named or marked made in China almost everything is from China we need to start buying things from other countries because the Chinese things are you know mostly fake or knockoffs and another thing is that we are, they have sold us the idea that our hair is not good enough. If you look around, most of the Chinese stores, they sell these fake hairs. Um, our women have been totally sold on the idea that their hair is not pretty enough and their skin is not pretty enough. Even the boys are bleaching, you know, because they want to look like the Chinese and their nails are fake. Almost everything is fake. So we need to be careful of the Chinese. You never know what their intentions are. It's so easy for them right now to completely wipe us out if they wanted to. And they may. We don't know what their plan is. But the, I think their plan is to colonize small islands and countries like ours. And the money does not stay here. That's one of the main things. And one more thing is that when they set up business, they don't pay taxes for one. And when they set up businesses, they, after five years, sell the business to another Chinese, they go back and another Chinese set comes and takes over that and they keep evading the taxes. So we're not really growing as a nation. We have to be careful of the Chinese. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. God bless. See you soon.